An animal rescue in Macomb County is overwhelmed after the son of an animal hoarder drops off hundreds of parakeets just before Christmas. Nick Monticelli shows us how other shelters are now coming together to take in the birds and get them the help they need to survive. I'm going to take some liberties here and say things have not gone to the dogs. They have definitely gone to the birds. We thought it was a couple, so we thought it was 60 to 80. When I got there, she had well over 450. Ann Jewett is one of the owners of JoJo's Flying Friends in Washington Township. It's a pet shop and a bird rescue. This all started a few weeks ago when a son went to help clean his father's hoarder's home and found all these. Started with one or two birds and they kept breeding and breeding and it got overwhelming. So he surrendered some, about 450. Then last week brought back another round. To my understanding, we're up to 837. You heard right, 837 parakeets were surrendered now being taken care of by several different rescues, including JoJo's. And surprisingly, most are pretty healthy, even the babies. Some of them have eye infections that we're clearing up. Um, the babies are thriving, they're doing awesome, hand feeding's going great. So again, we have all of these birds because there was a whole lot of mating going on inside of that hoarder's house. So we don't need any more birds. All of these are females. All the males are separated and tucked away. Adoption for all of them is the plan come January 23rd. That information will be posted on their Facebook page. We're going to try to make the best fit for the bird. So as the people come in, we'll see if they're a great fit for the bird because, you know, each person is different. In Washington Township, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. <laughs> All right, Nick, as you can imagine, feeding and taking care of more than 800 parakeets isn't cheap. The three rescues are hoping you might consider helping with the expense by either donating money or food and supplies that they need. We have information on how to help on our website. Click on Detroit.com.